Signore e signori, ladies and gentlemen, benvenuti alla Lamborghini. Welcome to the announcement for the next decade of automobile Lamborghini. On my first day back as president last December, I sat down with the team with one priority in mind. How can we lead Lamborghini to the next level? Prepare the company for the future now that the entire industry is standing at a crossroads. The main challenge for the automotive world arises from strict rules and regulations around CO2 emission targets. I think we all have adapted our mindset and our lifestyle over the last years. The new generation is growing up much more aware of the environment and every company, as well as every person, has to step up. For a super sports car manufacturer to comply with the CO2 regulations, as well as U7 targets, means we have to find the balance between considerably reducing emissions and at the same time delivering cars with even more performance than the model before. This is what our customers expect. So we have to reinvent ourselves while staying true to our roots, our DNA and our values. This is a big challenge. Luckily at Lamborghini, we have proven track record when it comes to sustainably developing and even transforming the company. When I started at Lamborghini in 2005, the company was much smaller than today, building 1,600 units of just two models, the Gagliardo and the Murcielago. The team and I, we fought hard for the Urus, which I first proudly presented as a concept car in Beijing in 2012. Time proved us right. The first super SUV eventually came to the market in 2018, and it catapulted Lamborghini into a new dimension. Lamborghini has grown by a factor seven in terms of turnover since my early days. Despite challenges of a global pandemic, 2020 was the best year ever in terms of operating margin. And next to confidence, this track record also gave us something even more valuable. Lessons learned. We know that in order to stay competitive, we have to decide with conviction. We have to shorten development times and work with the utmost discipline. I see Lamborghini like a powerful rocket setting out for a new mission. The Urus was our first ignition on this journey. And now we are firing up the second stage that I will outline for you in the following minutes. I will be talking about our celebrated combustion engines, about our plans of hybridization for all three model lines. And even giving an outlook into the first fully electrified Lamborghini. Always investing into our brand with everything we do. This is our path forward and the direction is clear. Direzione Cortauri. Latin for the heart of the bull, Cortauri is the brightest star in Tauro's constellation. On our journey towards electrification, we are ambitious, reaching for the stars with a clear target. A steady course, while at the same time remaining true to our roots, our DNA. The heart of the brand of the Raging Bull will always remain intact. Today, the Urus forms the rock-solid base of our product pyramid. With its success as a backbone, we can invest into our super sports cars, our naturally aspirated engines, as our super sports cars in general remain the absolute benchmark in the industry. And looking into the future, they can be considered last of its kind. But don't worry, we still have one or the other surprise planned for you. Celebrating our combustion engines that remain in high demand among our customers. And that have been a major factor of our success story. Coming back to our pyramid, the Squadra Corse motorsport program has proven to be the most extreme expression of celebration of the combustion engine. Our racing cars have brought us victories. They built know-how to be handed down into the road homologated cars. But more than anything, they keep delivering the most intense raw 
pure Lamborghini driving experience. On top of the pyramid, we see the few offs. Our latest few off was a first knot towards hybridization. The Cyan is not only an exceptional and very exclusive automobile, it can also be considered a rolling laboratory for what is to come. When it comes to electrification, at Lamborghini we always said that we don't want to be the first, we have to be the best. We build the dreams of our customers. They expect super sports cars that are better than their predecessor, always innovating with cutting edge technologies. This is an ambitious challenge in itself, which we have always successfully taken on. The new situation is a balancing act between building the best super sports cars on the market while also having to comply with the strictest CO2 emission legislation. We are tackling this the only way we know how to, the Lamborghini way, humble yet confident, determined. Once our hybridization kicks in, it will kick in quickly. All of our three models will be electrified by the end of 2024. The absolute focus will remain on performance. The electric engine adds torque, it adds acceleration. Batteries also add weight, the alleged enemy of performance. At Lamborghini, however, we are used to balancing out weight additions. An increase in performance often leads to the addition of weight in the first step. One of our key competencies at Lamborghini is the use of lightweight materials, such as carbon fiber, to balance this out. Our cars excel in power to weight ratio, so we have a good starting point for hybridization. And we will have very positive results from it. I gave the team the target to reduce the CO2 emissions of our hybrid model range by 50% from the beginning of 2025. And at the same time, we promise to maintain an uncompromising Lamborghini driving experience. Lamborghini is on the move, determined, focused, unstoppable. Our plans don't end with the hybridization of our product range. We have a clear vision of a whole new model, our fourth model, an all-electric Lamborghini planned for the second half of this decade. Our history has shown that at Lamborghini, we don't back down from any challenge. The plans I'm communicating today are built on thorough analysis, on business plans, on technical simulations on our conviction, and I promise that we are determined and perseverant when we have a target like this in sight. This endeavor requires all of our focus, our entire strengths, and a strong commitment from the entire Lamborghini team. Also in terms of financial investment, we are investing more than 1.5 billion euros. Over a span of just four years, unlike anything ever seen before in the company's history. It's a clear commitment, not just to a second phase of growth for Lamborghini, but to a sustainable future of the company. Speaking of a sustainable future, we at Lamborghini are very aware of our responsibility to offset our carbon footprint. This is why we will lower the emissions of our electrified fleet by more than 50% by 2025. But our efforts go beyond just electrification plans. We have a holistic approach to consistently reducing CO2 emissions. Our Sant'Agata site, the heart of Lamborghini, has been carbon neutral since 2015. This includes our production lines, but also our offices and all other buildings on site. And it has stayed carbon neutral throughout the phase of growth with the addition of the Urus production line, of a state-of-the-art paint shop, and of further office buildings, amongst others. Despite the growth, we have further avoided an important part of our emissions altogether. We have continuously reduced our carbon footprint. Because in our sustainability approach, we always follow the principle of avoiding and reducing emissions first, and only then compensating. All of this is a testament to the strong commitment of Lamborghini, 
to the electrification of our models and transformation of the company to ambitious sustainability goals, to excellence in everything we do, to strong financial results, to our fans and customers, to our Lamborghini team and their families, and to Sant'Agata Bolognese, to the Emilia-Romagna region, to Italy. Together, we will keep making dreams become a reality with the most cutting edge and visionary super sports cars in the world, made in Italy. Grazie e forza Lamborghini.